Kia ora. I have a question to ask. Do we all want zero poverty? Yes, right? But I would say if you can't measure, you can't manage. We are still struggling to eradicate poverty and it is a big concern for the policymakers. Therefore, it is the first goal set under Sustainable Development Goals by United Nations. And the goal says there should be no poverty in any dimension and in any form by 2030. Here comes my research. Over the decades since we started calculating poverty, we relied on money metric poverty indices in which, in order to gauge the welfare of people, we look into how much money they have and if they are living below the threshold measured in terms of dollars or in local currency, we term them as poor. During the journey, the indices improved and advanced in order to satisfy more properties which a good poverty index should possess. But then, almost two decades ago, a debate in literature started off. Way in, few economists questioned the use of money metric poverty indices and argued to see poverty as a multi-dimensional phenomenon in which an individual is termed as poor if he or she is deprived of services and facilities in health, education and living standards, not money. While seeing poverty as a multi-dimensional phenomenon, the improvement and advancement in multi-dimensional poverty indices started taking place but exactly on the same pattern as money metric poverty indices. So that means if we calculate poverty using these indices for, let's take the example of Pakistan, which is the focus of my study, we get different poverty estimates for same very year. And it is very perplexing. So now what I am doing in my research is to inform policymakers about the poverty trends that how different or same they are if we consider multidimensional and money metric poverty indices using their basic and advanced forms. And also to see what stories these indices have to tell about different districts of Pakistan along with how effective certain poverty eradicating initiatives were if we consider these two streams of poverty indices. This all will help policymakers in making more informed decisions about measuring and managing poverty and to have a world free of poverty. Thank you.